All right, this video talks briefly about using a Dremel to drill holes into your metal. I would always use a hole punch um, if you can, just because it's a lot easier than using the Dremel and you can be a little bit more precise. But in some instances, you can see that my hole punch doesn't reach where I need to pierce out a hole, right? So in that case, you would want to use the Dremel. This is what a Dremel looks like. Um, you can see I have a really, really tiny blade in the Dremel right now. The blue button turns it on and it just rotates this piece at a high speed, which rotates the bit and lets you drill holes. There are a few safety precautions you want to take. If you have really long hair, you want to either pull it up or tuck it behind your neck so that your hair can't get caught in this. You also want to hold your metal with a pair of flat head pliers. You don't want to hold it with your fingers because sometimes it gets caught on the bit and can spin your metal around. Well, these edges are really sharp, so if you're holding it with your hand, you can cut yourself pretty bad. You can also just get a tighter grip with flat head pliers, okay? Um, the last thing is that you want to make sure you're drilling on this block of wood, just because you don't want to be drilling into the table. Um, it also goes through a little bit quicker. So I'm going to be drilling through two pieces of copper that have been glued together because I'm making earrings and I want them to be the same. So the first thing I'm going to do is get a good grip with my flathead pliers. And I'm also going to make sure that my Dremel is nice and steady. I like to kind of hang the piece of metal off the edge somewhere. So I'm going to kind of hang it over here on the side. I'm planting the palm of my hand holding the Dremel down flat on the wood. If you're holding it up in the air, it's really hard to get the balance right and your metal will slide all over the drill bit. So I'm gonna plant both down. I'm gonna turn the drill bit on. You always wanna start with it on. You don't really wanna start on the metal and then turn it on just because it can again slide around. And the last thing is I want my Dremel, it's kind of hard to see from this angle, to be straight up and down. If I try to drill at an angle, my bit is so tiny and delicate that you risk snapping the bit, okay? So I'm gonna turn it on, plant my palm down, and I'm just going straight up and down. And I'm applying pressure. Again, I'm drilling through two, so it's taking a little bit longer. So I'm gonna try one more time. And it punched through, okay? As soon as it punches through, I take out the drill bit and turn it off. And you can see that it punched my tiny hole on both sides. It took a little bit longer just because I'm drilling through two pieces of metal. Usually it goes right through. You don't need to press too hard. It's gonna go the speed it wants to go. If you try to force it too much, it's gonna turn off the bit, okay? And that is how you use a drill bit. So just to review really quick, safety, make sure you're not holding it with your hands, you're holding it with some pliers. Make sure if you have long hair, it's tucked behind your head that you're planting your palm down firmly and keeping the Dremel straight up and down. You don't want to file or sorry, Dremel at an angle and that you're just going the speed that it wants to go. Okay.